In the clip you're about to watch is a short extract from a message that I preached at our church, speaking a little bit about God's opinion of you. I figured about this about Jesus, that he, is, that, that he has established an opinion of me. And his opinion of me is that he loves us. He loves me, he loves you. You see, your opinion of me can change. You can think I'm a nice person or you can think I'm a whatever person. But God's opinion of us has been eternally established. You don't have it in your power to change God's opinion of you. You can go out and commit murder. You can steal everybody's money. You can perform every form of evil in the world. And God's opinion of you has been eternally established. It doesn't change His opinion. It will have a devastating impact on your life and on your family's life. There's no doubt about it. But He will love you the same. Jesus can't love somebody more because he is love. He is simply is love. When the, things, when the thing is, it is. And so the invitation this morning is to say, God, come into my life. Jesus, welcome. Come into my heart. I open your heart. If you've never done that this morning, I'm going to give you the opportunity now to do so. Here's a prayer you may want to consider. A prayer like this prayer. The life is not in the prayer. The life is in your heart and your faith. Jesus, I want you to have, I want you to have a part in my life and my story. Just as you did for me, for, for Paul and for many other people in this room, come into my life and change my story. I want to be an influence of your love and grace. Hey, if you prayed that prayer or pray like that or you want to pray a prayer like that, I'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to make a comment in the section below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. God bless you.